morning guys and welcome to my channel we have a very gloomy day here today it's very rainy and foggy but today i'm going to be doing a what i eat in a day video i mentioned it in my previous vlog but i've been working from home a couple of days now because covid has been really bad in new york so i thought i'd share what i eat when i'm at home I always love watching these kinds of videos when I'm at home because it kind of gives me inspo on what to cook and make and eat while I'm stuck at home. I'm also one of those people that get hungry as soon as they wake up. My stomach's already starting to growl, so let's start with some breakfast. For breakfast, I'm gonna be making whipped ricotta toast. I'm gonna to do a sweet version with some thick jam and honey in it. And I've made this before on my charcuterie board on top of little crackers, and it was such a big hit with my friends and family, so I thought it'd be really good on top of toast as well. I'm gonna be using some French sourdough bread I have. This is from Bread Alone. For me, I always like to freeze my bread as soon as I get them from the grocery store to just kind of maintain the freshness. And I'm just going to pop it in the toaster to heat it up. And I'm also using part skim ricotta cheese. And I'm almost out of my fig jam, but I think I have enough for it today. Oh, and I'm also going to use honey and a little bit of salt. So I'm just going to use my KitchenAid mixer to whip up the ricotta. It only takes like two minutes. I think the recipe said you can also use like a food processor, but since I don't have a food processor, but I have this guy, I'm going to be using this. So I'm just going to put a couple of spoonfuls. I only have like two to three spoonfuls left. Then I'm going to get my honey. Just put maybe one spoon of this. I'm using a mini spoon, by the way. I'm also going to sprinkle in some sea salt to just kind of enhance the sweetness a bit. Just a little bit. So while the ricotta is whipping up, I'm just going to toast my bread. My ricotta's all whipped up and I'm going to transfer this to a Ziploc bag so that I can pipe it onto my toast. I know it's a little bit extra but it looks really pretty so I'm going to do it. Time to eat! So I kind of messed up on the piping on this side. It's not as neat. First time I'm trying this on toast. So let's see how it is. I forgot to take a picture. Ah. That's good. I really like using sourdough bread because it creates a nice base layer for any type of toppings that you want to put on. I also use sourdough for avocado toast and it doesn't get soggy or anything like that. So perfect for the whipped ricotta as well. Just made myself some coffee. Time to work. It is lunchtime now and I think that I'm craving some Korean food today. I have some rice that I made the other day in the fridge and I also have some side dishes that my mom made me. But I do want to make some odengbokgum. It's one of my favorites and it's basically stirred fried fish cakes. And my mom's recipe is the best so I just had to call her to kind of give me a refresher. So I'm going to be making that and just have a bunch of side dishes with rice today. So these are the ingredients that I'll need for the odengbokgum. 
just one scallion, garlic, an onion, and this is my favorite fish cake brand. It's called Busan Omuk and it's the Wang Korean brand. So I'm just gonna chop these all up. My other panchan already set up. Have some kim or dried seaweed, and I have changjorim that my mom made me. It's like soy sauce, braised egg, and beef. And I'm just gonna add my fish cakes here. And there we have my Korean spread. Can't wait to eat. 잘 먹겠습니다. Her recipe never fails. The fish cakes are very chewy and it has like a um, sweet and savory flavor. Even though I put the gochugaru before, it's not spicy at all. I'm gonna try her changjunim. She also gave me some seaweed that she got from Korea and it's just extra good. So I'm about to cook up some dinner right now and I had a sudden craving for tteokbokki. I also switched out my top because I didn't want to spill anything on my cashmere hoodie. So I watch a lot of mukbangs before I go to bed and I recently came across someone eating noodle tteokbokki and basically the rice cake is in the shape of a noodle. And I saw this in the Asian supermarket the other day so decided to try it out today. I have my ingredients all cut up. And I literally only had one scallion left, so it's running a little low today. I think my sauce is boiling, so gotta put everything in. started watching this drama called Now We're Breaking Up and it's with Song Yegyo and I don't know what the guy's name is but it's like really good and I'm on episode 4 so I'm just gonna continue watching my episode while I eat my tteokbokki. Mm -hmm. 